Hello everyone, this is James from the Copper Poppers, coming to you with the May auction preview. Our auction is going to be held on Friday the 27th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you'd like to pre-register, please send your PayPal and address to drippylipauctions at gmail.com. As you can see, we have an awesome, awesome table set up. We're going to be running a lot of bottles, a lot of relics, and uh, some silvers and coppers as well. Without further ado, let's get started. Got some open panel, uh, super whittled chemical medicine type bottle. We have another amethyst fly trap. Look at the whittling on that. Albors with the original cork and wire wrap. Beautiful amethyst. Wax seal mason jar. No damage. Really cool top on there. Very, very crude. It's got an ES on the base. Some more open panel puffs. Pisces cure for consumption in aqua. I think aqua is a little bit more rare than the green and amber ones. Got a Healy and Bigelow's Kickapoo Indian Oil. A little quack medicine, 1890s. Another little open panel, super whittled, wonky, wonky neck. It's a pretty cool, it's a, it's a milk, it's a half pint milk, Ayshire, Ayshire milk out of Penshurst in Nerbeth, PA. It's a little bit different. Check out this, it's a plain med, but oh my goodness, super dark cobalt, WT Company, White Altatum, right around 1890s, turn of the century. Super, super clean cobalt. We've got uh, Dr. Pierce's and your tablets. It's a different Wyatt eye wash cup. Would have uh, snapped on to the top. Pretty cool. We've got a British cobalt burst top. This is a really awesome cologne. Open pondled basket weave. Cologne bottle, right around 1840s. Big, large size Bromo Seltzer, machine made, perfect condition. This is local to me. This is a historical flask, but it's a reproduction. Lincoln High Clock Tower from 1980 out of Elwood City, PA. Open pondled. Really cool contemporary piece, though. Got a I think this is a British food bottle of some sort. A nice lime green, apple green. African case gin. <laughs> this one kills me. The Cutie Cura System of Curing Constitutional Humors. It's an 1890s med, Potter Drug Chemical Court out of Boston, Mass. It's uh, for treating any, any type of ailment. A cure all for any type of disease or you know stomach pains aches everything like that got a really big sauce bottle it's lg company nice applied top right around 1870s beautiful piece there lundberg new york i think this is a hair some sort of a hair product Really nice piece there. Probably 1880s, 1890s. Got a British soda here. Internal screw cap. Ellison and Corker. Fraudsham. Cheshire. Big, thick British soda bottle. Beautiful soda water. Cincinnati Soda Water and Ginger Ale Company. 
with the uh, Star of David. No damage. Beautiful Hutchison. Got ourselves a dark teal poison. Nice British poison. Ribbed, not to be taken. Oh, this one's awesome. This isn't Western Blown, it's Eastern Blown, but it's a Jackson's Napa Soda. Out of Jackson, uh, California. Beautiful blob top. Frank Rochert, Nassau, Renz Company, New York. Got a cool double stamp on the uh, on the base. Nice New York hutch. And going along with our New York stuff, we got our Carl H. Schultz, ten pin style with a uh, crown top. Nice little pictorial. Pat did me 1868 out of New York. Big quart flask. Nice honey amber. Check that bad boy out. Whew. It's beautiful, thick. No damage. It's a nice little hair bottle, perfume type. Really nice dark teal. Love the color on this one. I love that style. Probably around 1890s tool top. Got another amber flask here. Really wonky shape, strap sided with an X on the base, applied top. Here we got a etched Thomas McMullen and Company, white label, probably whiskey. Oh, not in frame, there we go. Got a stoneware beer here. This is an early piece. Probably around 1840s, 1850s with a nice top on there. Really cool, crude. Little stoneware jug. Tiny little guy, probably a half gallon. India, I'm not even gonna try and say that word. Out of Norwich, Connecticut. I love these things. These are the personalized, it's like red stained glass, around 1890s, 1910. It's got an H on the base and it says mother. This one's pretty cool. Frontier Asthma Company out of Buffalo, New York. Some sort of an asthma uh, medicine bottle. It's machine made. Bottle made in the USA. Some uh, Grand Tea Cap Company, a nice amethyst. Baby bottle with the pictorial baby on it. Got another uh, California bottle here. This is an Americus Club Whiskey flask. Nice amber out of. Uh, Somewhere in California, I think San Francisco. Uh, we got some killer inks too. Cobalt spool ink. This machine, it's machine made, but this cobalt is so dark. And look how whittled this thing is. What's it have on the base? 87 on the base. Really beautiful uh, cobalt ink. Got a lactopeptine, digestive for digestive ailment. Ground lip, right around 1890s. Burst top, pen rest. It's got some lions, L-Y-O-N-S. Uh, it's another British ink. Got a cobalt. Cone ink, 
this is pretty cool too. This is an early ink, L.H. Thomas. That's not actually the ink on the inside. It's painted on the outside. It was painted black. That was pretty unique. Really cool original paint. Um, what else have we got? I think that kind of does it. Uh, we got, of course, some more silver. Barber Dime. 1943 Walking Liberty Half with an S mint mark. And we have three large scents. 1830 Matron, 1832 Matron, and then a sick counter stamped 1847. It's got a JP on it. I love altered coins. They would have counter stamped them for uh, pickers checks or for advertisements, anything like that. Um, yeah, just really cool, unique. And We've got another long crotal bell strap with a little bit of fuzz in it. <laughs> this one's got some bigger pedaled crotal bells. Oh yeah, beautiful. If you have any questions, please reach out. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got some really cool Art Deco sodas too. 1915 coca-cola hobble skirt soda water out of Salem, ohio got an el bro coca-cola property kisk out of johnstown big old pappy <laughs> pappy best of them all and uh, a couple other ones as well smile out of east liverpool chester pa not to be uh returned or must be returned yeah if anyone has any questions please reach out to drippy lip auctions at gmail.com um hope to see everyone there on friday at seven let's get some mo